Hello everyone and welcome back to more like platinum line. In this part, we'll go ahead and take on the next gem. Welcome to Serenity City Gym. The leader of Reina uses electric Pokemon. You know I really hate these hints, they're going on like your morons. Switches. Oh, it's forward. Alright, I don't even want to know. Oh my god! Who didn't know that? Here we have Captain Obvious William. Let's use Lava Soul. You know, I still hate this move, but at least he replaces Flash. I just love me myself. Thank God I got it. But seriously, the lava surface is totally unnecessary here. And there we go, one down. I love zero. I'm not really a big fan of luxuries like right now, at least in this half. So it's time to get silent on them! Was that supposed to hurt? Because it didn't. Now feel the power of the earthquake! Enjoy! Yeah. And that's Luxio and the trainer. Oh. Yeah, no. I'll be right back after healing for what I don't know. Alright, now that we've run through here. For this one. Oh, this shim's puzzle sucks. I can feel it just running through my veins. Dude, I'm just wondering. How are you alive then? I mean, not powerless or something like that. I mean, an electric shock may not be that bad, but still. You still feel it running through your veins right now. It means it's gotta be kinda bad. Ampharos is one Pokemon I don't really like fighting. Reason? It's tough. If you guys couldn't tell first by fighting Amp in those bonus episodes, oh my god, Amp. Bah. Excuse me. Okay, so you cut my speed in half. Made me sometimes unable to attack, and then you lower my speed some more. I am totally confused as to what you really have planned. Zed Striker. If I remember correctly, Zed Striker has one major weakness. He's a Pikachu in disguise! Really? By that? I mean, physical defense, equal rate. Okay, I really hate when this kind of crap happens. But since I want to make this kind of crap, then let's go. Let's go. Let's get serious. <laughs> Die. Thank you. As I realize, I like to do some serious power lays like what it is. You didn't understand all so they didn't understand power laser, so I cheat. Let's bite something filled with pins! That's bound to be healthy! Burn it in hell! No, I don't even care about burning it in hell. Destroy it with ground! Destroy it with ground. Kill it! Kill it! 
If you're gonna tell, I really hate Pat Russo. Dark Pikachu ripoff. That's another thing. What a lot of people. That's another thing, you know. Every generation, excluding Generation 2, had a Pikachu ripoff. Generation 3 had plus a land minin. Yay! Generation 4. Oh, Generation 4 had that piece of crap we just fought. Gen 5 has something I even hate more than Pachirisu. That's right, Emolga. Anybody rather than Emolga over Pachirisu? Well, I really don't care because I really hate them both, but... My point is, they both suck. They're both awful, and I, both, and I hate them both. None is better than the other. Another thing that I hate though, that's one thing. That is, that is exactly what Gen 5 is, you know. And a lot of people are here to pick up on it. Gen 5 is pretty much giant inspiration. I ain't even say the other thing. These Pikachu things literally just rip off Pikachu. But Gen 5 draws inspiration from the previous gens and uses them for their new Pokemon. You can clearly see that Judo, that Rock and Roll was inspired by Judo. But yet these people like to jump on. Oh my god, Judo is a rock with arms. Oh my god, Gen 1 was so original. Wait, 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 wait. Let me guess. So you're telling me a rock with arms is unoriginal. Yes, you don't want to accept that a rock with legs is unoriginal, unoriginal too. Alright, that works. Yeah. The arguments that I've heard for Gen 5, they kind of lack sense. A lot of people saying, oh my god, but Gen 5 is the greatest gen ever. I'm like, I'm the nostalgia pack, as you guys like to call, but... Nostalgia? The nostalgic value? Pretty much would overpower all the rest of them, you know. Just saying it would. And Gen 5... Is not a bad gen. I just find it to be one of the weaker installments. It's along with Gen 4. I just like the background go off and it's turned off. Let's just turn this on. What I really hate a lot about it though is the fact that you can clearly tell. That they just wanted, new, that they were clearly running out of ideas when they made that gen. I mean, they could come up with an, they came up with an excellent, awesome plot. That I'm passing to Jolteon. Was that really the best move you could do? Anyway, because you could see they're clearly just drawing inspiration from all the other Pokemon they ever had. That's not exactly how we make a new gen. Give me a break. And stop trying to make funny jokes that aren't funny. What I hate about the new gen is the Pokemon, not the storyline or anything else. And yes, people are going to say you only hate it because of the ice cream. Yeah. No, it's not because of the ice cream. It's because most of the Pokemon that they have are pretty much just other Pokemon from previous gens. Look at base stats. They're just allocated slightly differently. Some, I and mean, the majority of them, they're allocated to make the Pokemon stronger than the previous one. I mean, here's the biggest example of it. Zorak, Lucario. You can see Zorak is just pretty much a Lucario. It's the same Pokemon just with base stats allocated differently and a different ability it's drawn straight from Lucario I mean straight from Lucario it's not fun and I don't think it's ever gonna be fun Lucario is original Lucario came in Lucario was like yeah man that's an awesome Pokemon then we got 
the then I got the kind of ooh, it has an illusion ability that's awesome and it can screw up a lot of people competitively. Well yeah. I don't like it still. I mean it's not that strong. And I mean, seriously, when I find it, I found it way easier to destroy. I found look, fighting Lucario is more annoying than fighting them. I mean, once you actually knew it was it, oh, please! I simply used to laugh every time I saw one and just destroy it with one hit. It didn't even matter what I used, to be honest. So all, so when I see people making their list, I say, oh, that Pokemon's not my favorite. I'm like, design-wise, I don't understand. Battle-wise, you're actually saying it's actually quite good? Maybe you guys took your time to possibly allocate its stats into something that actually makes it somewhat good, but I don't like it. Not one of my favorite Pokemon will never be one of my favorite Pokemon. My favorite Pokemon will always be the Little Turtle. Named the Wolf Wardle. My, my own favorite, one of my other favorite Pokemon is... Oh, she has an Electrifier as her boss. I mean, that's sad. One of my other favorite Pokemon is, um, what am I thinking about? I have my two favorite Pokemon in my party right now, let's just leave it at that. My favorite Pokemon from Gen 5 is the starter Pokemon. It's Sir Perio. I like Snivy. Yes, I do. But I have to go with Sir Perio. And Gen 3, after, after my second favorite Pokemon, as much as I hate how much people go, oh, oh my god, it's Oshawott and Thelwatt and Sabira! As much as I hate that, my second favorite Pokemon is Dewa. I just like its design. There are other Pokemon I like, such as Don Manitan. But there's some Pokemon that just lose points with me because of what where they draw their inspiration from. Let's make a Seismitoad! And its inspiration will be Palatoad. That is the exact reason why I dislike. I have a weird feeling I'm going to be seeing an Emoga in the stream battle. And if I do, I'm going to scream like a little g No, I won't. I will refuse. I refuse to be a Chugga Conway. But I really, really hate Emoga. If you couldn't tell, I just hate Emoga. Emoga sucks, sucks, sucks. It sucks, sucks, sucks. Zeb Striker, I don't fear you need. Uh, 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 you suck, suck. Nah, I like it. Zeb Striker is my favorite electric type. If you're wondering, the Pokemon that were on my team are definitely going to be my favorite. And Zip Striker was on my team. My team for Gen 5 was Superior. Oh, if it's not, not my favorite brief, not my favorite flying type. My favorite flying type is the Graviary, but he was so late in the game to obtain that. I just decided to catch the Pit of later on. Catch the Pit of and use it. So the camera is a typical booty cola for this. And then there's um who else? Darmanitan. Alright, it was who was it again? Seismitoad, Superior, Darmanitan, Unfezon. I'm forgetting what else I use. Holy crap! Tyrant? 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 Oh, blasphemy. I think Tiger wants revenge on that thing. Don't you think so? 
And if you guys don't know who my two favorite Pokemon are, you guys probably weren't watching the earlier parts of this LP. My two favorite Pokemon are definitely Bovile and Watch his face. Govile and Wartortle. Wartortle being my favorite, Govile being my second favorite. I have a fetish for water types. I mean, I just simply love them. I don't know why other people don't really like water types as much as I do. But I honestly find water types to be the better type. I mean, a lot of people go with, oh my god, I'd rather fire that. Fire types are so cool. Not to me. I'd faster choose a, I'd faster choose a water type over. I mean, there are lots of water types I dislike. Love this. And there are water types I just have mixed feelings about. Mainly because when I fight them, they annoy me. Such as my Lotic and Kingdra. And Kendra. Which is why I love Jesse because Jesse is just fun. Jesse can piss off those people so easily. And that's Leader Reyna. So easily. Congratulations, you beat me honorably. By doing so, you've earned the energy badge. Wow. With energy badge, outside of that, for five hours. Any city of all of you. What's that, Thunder? Oh, it's Thunderbolts. Well, we definitely can use Thunderbolts. So we have both Thunder and Thunderbolt. That's nice. I know Dragon can learn Thunderbolt. I learn Thunderbolt, but hey. You might just teach it Thunder. So Thunderbolt has 95 power to Thunder Punches. 75, so yeah. Thunder Punch is gone. Alright, let's get on out of here. Oh my god. He... Wesley, your hacking skills are alright. I mean your mapping skills, by the way. I mean, you can make awesome events and all that stuff like all the good hackers can, but... When it comes to the fact that you clearly were sucked in by the anime and it's... Overloved hype of Pokemon... It kind of kills the spirit of the game. Just saying, it actually does kind of kill it. No one... Yes, we are all fans of the anime. To a point! To a point. There's a point in the anime where anime just got awful. And we all know it happened. We all we all can't deny it. Um yeah, I need a map or something. I wonder if there's a map in the Pokemon Center. I need to find out where to go next. There are two and I don't know which one to take. Oh, what am I doing about the computer? I'm in the map, Batman! World map? Oh, so this is Lauren. So that's when Ash is gonna be the champion. Please. Ash being the champion. That's impossible.
So I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the movie point of the region. Or Dark Drake Breath City. Which is definitely gonna be Dragon type. And this is the Pokemon League. Someone tells me I have to go to Boat Town. How many badges do I have? Yep, yeah, Boat Towns. Anyway, so next time on Pokemon Light Platinum Blind. Due to the fact that I feel that the Dragon type is going to be the agent, we'll be heading to the Snowy City. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah.